What is going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs post game show. Hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. We're within 30 seconds now of getting a final score from this week's game between the number one seed Michigan Wolverines and the number eight LSU Tigers and the Michigan Wolverines are going to get the job done and move on to the Sweet 16 and what a matchup this one was. A lot of people doubting the Michigan Wolverines but this is why I absolutely love this team and when you talk about resiliency with no Isaiah Livers Michigan's top scorer and obviously the backbone of this team to get the job done in this fashion in just a gritty gritty game I think speaks to you know so so highly of what the Michigan Wolverines have been able to do in terms of coaching and just the overall player talent that the Wolverines have um didn't start this game off very well. Um, it was a very, very high-scoring game. But what I really liked about the Michigan Wolverines today especially was figuring out that physicality at the end of the first half and keeping, that, keeping it that way throughout the rest of that first half and into the second half. We knew that the Michigan Wolverines had to come into this game, play some really solid defense without fouling. Um, the defense was not fantastic, but they did a pretty good job of not fouling. Um, I thought we were going to have a bit of a problem with Sean D. Brown in foul trouble early on in the first half. He picked up, I think, his third foul in the first half. I mean, obviously, our best perimeter defender, so, you know, has to be out there on the court in order to um, be guarding Cam Thomas, and what a night Cam Thomas had over there. Um, but yeah, Shondi Brown played a huge part. Eli Brooks was fantastic. Really, our whole starting lineup was fantastic, and in a day where we really had to go a bit deeper into our rotation, as we have for the past little while, um, we were able to do so, able to do so effectively. This is a very, very solid win against a very quality LSU team. Um, let's flip on to the box score. Again, the game not officially over yet, but all said and done at this point for the most part. Um, Cam Thomas for LSU will start in the LSU box score, have 30 points. Yeah, he, he was great. And I mean... You know, Michigan figured out him out a bit in the second half. He went a bit streaky one time in the first half and a bit in the second half as well in terms of, you know, Michigan just shutting him down. But 30 points, um, a great free throw shooter again. So uh, credit to Michigan's offense um, to sort of stay out of that foul trouble again. Um, and he's going to get drafted this year for a reason. He's the best scorer in the SEC for a reason. Um, so, you know, in terms of that sense, a great defensive performance from the Wolverines. Um, Watford was great in the SEC championship game. Um, big part uh, for LSU this year. There you go. You just see the final score, 86 to 78. Um, but Watford has been great all year and a big matchup again for Hunter Dickinson. And Hunter Dickinson, offensively, the Wolverines de didn't get him going early on in this game. But defensively, I mean, he's so good. He shut down some of the best players this year. Um, Nate Reavers, Luca Garza, now Watford, some of the bigger men for these really, really quality teams. And that's just such a bonus for the Wolverines to have these other teams, you know, not necessarily having to play to their strengths and having to find other ways to score the basketball. Um, Smart was great today as well. 10 of 22. Again, a lot of shots for all of these guys. LSU for 78 points. Only shot, you know, under 40%. Um, and 30% right on from three. So, you know, you see 78 points, but I do think that, you know, there's an underlying really solid defensive performance here from the Michigan Wolverines. Um, and then moving on to the Wolverines box score, Eli Brooks with the show today, especially offensively, 21 points, um, his, which was his season high. Um, which was 17 before this. Now it's obviously 21. He was great today. Had some big threes. Five of nine from three. Got to the line. Seven assists as well. I've always said Eli Brooks can drive and he can facilitate. You know, more often than not, we only see him on the three-point line, but he does so much more than just that. We saw that today um, with the Eli Brooks. And then you look at the rest of the roster. Franz Wagner was really good. Um, Hunter Dickinson was really good. 11 rebounds for Dickinson as well. Michigan didn't get him established early, but I thought they did a great job, especially in that second half when they really needed to seal the game. Brandon Johns filling in for Isaiah Livers. Obviously, we've seen him a bunch of times um, over the course of the past really two years with Isaiah Livers being injured last year as well. Uh, Mike Smith only shot two of eight, five points, but I thought he did a great job facilitating the basketball. And I thought Michigan as a whole did a really good job of finding ways to score. Um, 
um, and a lot of their field goals coming off assists, which is what we really come to know of the Michigan Wolverines this year and the way that they move the ball around um, and really, really efficient in terms of what they can do offensively. We see just under four, uh, 54% shooting, 80% from the line, one of the best free throw shooting teams, the best free throw shooting team in the Big Ten, and just under 40% from three as well. So really, really solid offensive performance from the Michigan Wolverines, um, especially taking into consideration that obviously no Isaiah Livers. Let's flip over to the team stats. Um, what I thought was really impressive about LSU, only three turnovers, all coming in the second half, I believe. Both teams got to the free throw line quite a bit. Both teams shot the basketball pretty well. Um, obviously, Michigan was better from three. I think that was the real difference in this game. Um, but overall, pretty even. Um, I think that, you know, LSU did a great job in forcing those turnovers for the Michigan Wolverines. Hopefully they can be a little more careful with the basketball. Um, but overall, I thought it was really good. Only 17 fouls as well, um, which was huge in keeping their players on the court. Um, you know, taking into consideration that Franz Wagner fouled out was it last game, I think. And Hunter Dickinson down the stretch of the season has had some foul trouble late in games quite a few times as well. So I think a lot of pluses when you look at it that way. Um, looking ahead, obviously the Michigan Wolverines now moving on to the Sweet 16. At the time of me filming this video, um, the game between Colorado and Florida State is not yet complete, but Michigan is going to get the winner of that game. Obviously, two really solid teams watched both bunch of times this year. Um, obviously, you know, both teams playing some really, really good basketball right now, and I'm big fans of really both teams. Um, I think the better matchup for the Wolverines would be Colorado, um, just because Colorado likes to play more inside offensively, and I think that plays to Michigan's strengths, especially taking into consideration that Colorado's not really good from the three ball, um, but we'll have to wait and see. That game won't be till later on this week. It's not going to be till the weekend, so Michigan has some time to just relax, game plan for these bigger games, and obviously Michigan being well coach hopefully they can come out you know really really strong in this game and progress into the elite eight but anyways guys if you did make it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comment section below because it was a really really big one and obviously you know a, a really you know a game i think where a lot of people were doubting the wolverines um, just before we do end this video, though, I do want to congratulate the LSU Tigers on just a phenomenal, phenomenal season. Um, great run in the SEC um, and a phenomenal season overall. I think you guys were really interesting to watch this year. I've watched you guys a bunch. Really, really exciting team to watch. Unfortunate you couldn't, you know, progress past into the Sweet 16, but still a fantastic, fantastic year. But, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for full March Madness coverage for the rest of March and into the first week of April and for the national championship. Anyways, guys, again, if you did make it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.